Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for uh, attending tonight. Um, welcome to our Game Changers evening. This is the fifth Game Changers forum which has been hosted uh, by the Elsa Areas Football Club since 2017. But you might be, uh, you won't be surprised to know that we've had a bit of a COVID break in between these past few years, and we're delighted to be able to come together in partnership with the Stonington Council to bring a conversation to you all, which I think, given the past two years, is probably um, as important now than ever before to be talking about the challenges and opportunities that young people face. My name is Paul Lefebvre and I'm your host for this evening's event. And as a member of the committee of the Olds Variants Football Club, I look after our player wellbeing portfolio. Before we begin our program, I would like to acknowledge that we are meeting on the traditional lands of the Wurundjeri, Woi, Wurrung and Bunurong peoples of the East Kulin Nations and pay my respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. I also extend that respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders and acknowledge their living connection to country, relationship with the land and all living things extending back tens of thousands of years. In the spirit of welcome, on behalf of our football club president, Mr Matt Cosgrove, and our committee, I would like to extend a warm welcome to you all. I would also like to take the opportunity to thank the support provided to this evening by the City of Stonington. In particular, I would like to thank the Mayor, Councillor Jamie Casares, Chief Executive Officer Jackie Redwell, and from the Active Stonington team. Tonight could not have been possible without Fiona Jones, so thank you, Stonington. In particular, we would like to welcome tonight those of you who have not been involved with either Xavier College the football club or any of our alumni associations. We thank you for your attendance tonight and we warmly welcome you to the Xavier community. Some minor housekeeping. If I could ask that you turn your mobile phones off to silent for the duration of our session, it would be helpful. And at the end of the evening, I'm sure you've had the opportunity to grab, hopefully, more water and some snacks from the back if you've got some uh, rubbish with you at the end if you could take it with you and deposit it in the bins at the back. Before we hear from our wonderful speakers, I just thought I would take a moment to give you a little bit of context for those of you who are with us tonight for the first time for Game Changers. As I mentioned, we began in 2017 and we are privileged at the Osmerians Football Club to be one of the largest and most successful amateur sporting clubs in the country. But we believe that that privilege becomes uh, important that we have a responsibility. And that responsibility is to our community, not just our alumni, but also to the greater community. Our club is founded on the ethos of the Jesuit tradition to be men and women for others. And as a committee, we believe that this ethos must not be mere rhetoric, but should be demonstrated by actions that enable support and assistance to others, in particular to young men and women across the community. So one of our goals is to provide young people with access to information that will assist them manage the challenges and opportunities they face. That could be access to information regarding employment, education, financial decisions, and perhaps most importantly, their health and well-being. And it's these aspects that are the core foundation of our football club's well-being program. The Game Changes series is an important forum to engage directly with young people, but it also brings together a group uh, of multiple generations to share and access that information, which is really designed to empower young people to meet tomorrow's challenges and opportunities, which is essentially the theme of our Game Changes Forum. So tonight's forum invites a broader community to share the insights and the experiences from our speakers who have very different fields of endeavour and I'm sure you're looking forward to hearing from them tonight. Our plan is for them to share their knowledge with the goal of perhaps providing you with an insight, they might provide you with an idea, they might generate a solution, 
or they might provide you with a better understanding or a source for further information that enables young people to meet the challenges and opportunities that they face. As a community, we've decided to focus on the wellbeing and mental health awareness, in particular for young people. And for that reason, we've identified the organisation Youth Live for Life as our charity of choice. Youth Live for Life focus their efforts on mental health education and youth suicide prevention, particularly in rural and regional communities. The Live for Life team deliver team and accredited youth mental health first aid training in schools and the wider community. They create local partnerships to lead conversations about mental health that reduce stigma, promote young leaders as mental health ambassadors. So your gold point donation tonight goes directly to supporting the wonderful work of Youth Live for Life. And on that note, I'd just like to briefly welcome the CEO of Youth Live for Life, Mr. Bernard Galvin, to come up and just say a few short words about Youth Live for Life. Please welcome Bernard.
Thanks, Curtin. So, now it's time to hear from our speakers. So the format uh, of the night, we'll hear from Jemima, from Pat, and from Luke. And then we'll have a bit of a panel discussion. You'll notice that one of our advertised speakers, sadly, is with us tonight. And unfortunately, Dr. Bridie O'Donnell contacted me to advise that due to a uh, work commitment, she had to travel interstate and can't be with us tonight. Um, given the important nature of Bridie's work in particular, her medical efforts throughout our COVID period, we completely understand that these things happen. Um, but she has assured me she's uh, looking forward to be in attendance and a feature at our next Game Changer session in the future. So I will introduce each of our uh, speakers to present, and at the end we'll have a panel discussion and we'll try to aim to stick to time and finish up around 8.30.